Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel and I'm here to bring you another collective general energy reading. Uh, remember that these messages could be for all signs, so please take only what resonates to your particular situation and leave the rest behind. As always, guys, thank you so much for all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your comments. I love getting to know you. I know I don't comment back in the sections, but you do always get my heart um, to know that I've read what you've spent the time to put out to me. And I love how much information we're able to collaborate and share with one another. And it's also helping me out with understanding that so many people are coming into their gifts that they're not entirely sure exactly what those gifts are and how to, um, you know, control them. Um, <clears throat> so maybe if we come across those things in the readings, I'm going to go ahead and try to touch on them lightly to help us all out. So that way we're prepared for everything. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take a moment to call in the Holy Spirit and ask to please guard and shield and protect this portal while I channel messages to my divine collective. Uh, please allow love, light, and every bit of good positive energy to flow through me, through this channel, to my divine collective. May the messages reach the intended. Um, and please, Holy Spirit, please protect, shield, and guard us with your divine hands over our destinies, over our lives, over our joys and comforts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so let's take a peek real quick and see what the Holy Spirit wants to talk to us about today. Nice and early in the morning, the sun is starting to rise in the window that I'm looking through. It's gorgeous. Hoping everybody is excited for the weekend. Ooh, nice privilege lady. You popped right out there. Do you see that? Like an acrobat. Ooh. I wonder if you are somebody who is very athletic, maybe a gymnast. I see you doing a lot of flips, leaps, and bounds. Um, I also see you flipping, leaping, and bounding through life. Um, with your gifts, you're just on uneven ground. You're constantly shifting. Yeah, you're definitely shifting a lot. People can't keep in touch with you. People can't follow you and keep up with you. You're just elevating. You're leaping into like the next level. <laughs> and then your enemy's like, wait a minute, I was only prepared for this. <laughs> How did you get smart and get over here? So that's kind of neat, interesting, good energy. We have the coffin. There's definitely an end to something, something that you're walking away to your privileged lady. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I'm sure a spirit is going to let us know. All right. One more Holy Spirit, please, to help clarify what this energy is that you want to talk about. That's too many, but we are going to take the main female and put it back since we already have the privilege lady. We already know that you're the main gal. But we have <clears throat> expectation and community. Expectation and community. The privilege lady... And the coffin card. This community that you are in, this is a very close family. And when I mean very close family, this could be a very close friend group that you consider to be a family of yours. Thicker than blood kind of thing. Um, you, your family is who you choose to be in your family, who you choose to make moments and memories with. This community card is filled with all different age groups, the elderly, the young, the middle age. You can see people in the back, ancestors, guides, everyone wanting to support you, everyone helping you through this next transition in your life. This could be um, divine ancestors, guides, angels, spirit. This could be talking about your spiritual community. Um, so take this as it resonates, but everyone is helping to elevate you into this privileged lady. It's like you're not just getting divine protection from your guides and your angels over your destiny, but your whole community is trying to protect you, defend you, um, help you along your journey. I see individuals who are helping each other's businesses and understanding the value of 
you know, trading services for services to get that word of mouth out, to advertise your company in the way people used to do before there was television, before there was radio. It was all word of mouth. So I feel like you're somebody who um, is more of a traditionalist. Um, you could be anywhere between uh, 39 and 59. You're a mature individual. Um, you've gone around the block a couple of times. <laughs> More than a couple of times. <laughs> I, I, I see you being a little bit stubborn. <laughs> Maybe in your youth you were a little bit um, wild. <laughs> back of motorcycles, hair flying in the wind. Um, you know, always breaking curfew. Maybe sneaking a little bit of liquor out of mom's cabinet, you know, um, which is fine. I mean, we're all kids. We all go through those, those, those experiences in life. I mean, I was never a wild child, but you were a wild child <laughs> and you loved it and you learned a lot from it. You learned, um, about that, that kind of lifestyle, about that world. You know how to communicate because you once thought of those people as your people. But I see you waiting and expecting the next round of blessings that are coming to you. You know these blessings are coming to you. You know that you've ended this cycle. That nail is in the coffin. You're leaving toxicity behind you and you are moving forward with purpose. And you're expecting your manifestations to come to pass. Okay? And I love that because you are so confident and so sure in yourself. You know you're the privileged lady. Now, you could be a divine masculine in my group that is embodying that divine feminine energy. And if that's the case and this resonates with you so far, um, then this message is for you as well. All right. I love the energy on the board. There's a lot of confidence. Um, you're a very confident individual. And I like to see that because a lot of the time confidence is key. Um, having and realizing that you could swim all along and being too afraid to jump into the water, you know, I feel like you finally realize I'm an expert swimmer. I am a phenomenally strong athlete. Um, no wonder the enemy tried to keep me down because they can't keep up with me. So I'm just going to keep moving. And you're just flipping and somersaulting into every single phase of your life. And I love it. Yeah, I definitely feel like you're a gymnast of some kind, <laughs> or you were the kid growing up that was constantly doing backflips and somersaults in your backyard, so much so that there would be divots. Like, I feel like somebody's parents used to get upset that when you would do flips and your feet would come down on the ground, that it would make imprints and dents into the yard, and there would be, like, like, like your dad mowing the grass and getting irritated because there'd be like these little grooves and bumps in different places. That is very specific. I, I didn't even know something like that was possible. So I'm not a, a gymnast. I couldn't do a cartwheel if my life depended on it. So if that resonates with you, this is your message. <laughs> so I guess it would make sense if you have... If you're flipping and you, like a think of like all of your body weight coming down on the ground and if you're outside, you got the sun card. Yeah, you're all full of joy and God's delivering you an ace of pentacles. Much abundance coming to you. It's a gift from heaven. Whatever is happening here, you're receiving a major gift and I think that you're expecting it or you're anticipating it because you know it's coming. <laughs> Ooh, and it's it's going to punch you. It's going to come down hard like your feet do whenever you hit the ground after coming off of like a aerial flip, you know? Roundhouse. What the heck's a roundhouse? What's a roundhouse, Spirit? Why are you, why are you saying roundhouse? Oh. It's, oh, okay, okay. I guess a roundhouse is the name of a flip or like a move that you do. Is it a, it's a move you do. Roundhouse. Oh, they're showing me roundhouse and powerhouse. Oh, that's cool. Nice spirit. All right. Clever. Love. 
You're manifesting love into your life. You got the magician and the lover's card on this split. Ooh, divine counterpart you're calling in. Okay. You are a powerhouse. Why do I see healing spirit? You know he needs to be healed. Your divine counterpart needs to be healed and you're aware of it. Okay. Let's take a look. All right, Holy Spirit, go ahead and clarify for us with the tarot cards here about this privileged lady, what we're expecting, the community help, what she left behind. Please and thank you. Okay, we have temperance. This is a card of balance, harmony, uh, patience. This is angelic protection. Okay, this is archangel protection over your life. This is your guides leading you into this next phase with complete balance, um, helping you to identify what needs transmuted out of your life and what needs called into your life. That's a good card. Temperance. Ooh, that one popped out. And we have the Knight of Cups, okay? This is somebody who's, who's confident. Going into battle, going into the storm, and they say, all I need is this cup. And it's full of love, it's, called, it's full of faith, it's full of hope, it's full of divine protection. And I have a vision for what I want to see in my future. And I'm expecting it. And I'm calling it into me. I have big dreams and big hopes. And I'm just waiting for confirmation from my guides. And they're telling you to start nudging forward. They said, be ready. Put your armor on. Get your horse ready, get your car keys, get your phone, go sit in the car, hurry up and wait. <laughs> and now it's finally coming in. No more hurrying up and waiting. They're asking you to begin moving forward. See how the horse is uh, drawing up that first leg to start that journey? And you are proudly looking into the horizon over that cup. You know it's coming and you're expecting it to happen at any second. Like... All the chips are going to fall at the same exact time and you're ready for it. You're excited for it. You're not overwhelmed by the prospect. You have a lot of courage with this Queen of Wands here. You are a very, very independent individual. You don't need anybody. The privileged lady never needs anybody. She may desire to have a divine counterpart, but just because your twin flame is Pennywise doesn't mean you're going to crawl into a sewer with them and start making little baby clowns and sacrifice your happiness and your joy just because your twin flame is confirmed to be your twin flame. No, you're calling in a soulmate. You're calling in somebody who's, who's meant for you. Somebody who's going to compliment you. Somebody who's going to be worthy of a privileged status without taking away your control and power and allowing you to breathe in that freedom because you've earned it. Now these two cards popped out face down and I don't even know what they were. I didn't even shuffle. Yeah, your Ace of Pentacles came back out. God is, did you see how those flopped over while I was explaining? I didn't even shuffle. I didn't even ask a question. And God already knew what the answer was gonna be before I even asked it. Look at that. God's saying, yes, child, look at the gift I'm giving you. That last pinnacle is a divine romantic connection. You are already embodying your nine of cups energy, your wish come true, your nine of pinnacles. You have everything that you need because you've earned it. You've, you've gone through your paces. Spirit has pushed you through your paces. You've learned what you needed to learn up to this point because we're all still learning no matter what age. You, I mean, you never stop learning until you've transitioned into the next life. But God is saying you've earned this wish come true and I am giving it to you right out of the heavens and I'm going to show it and gift it to you in front of the entire community. Everyone is going to be made aware of it. High honor. I get a lot of high honor with this. And look at this. The next card that came out with that Ace of Pentacles is your Six of Swords. Spirit says, I know you've hurt in the past. 
and I know that you've been carrying those swords with you, waiting to cash them in for blessings, I sent one of my guides to come and get you there, to ferry you across the rest. This is that energy, um, if you've ever heard the poem about the footprints in the sand, where the man was walking alongside with Jesus and on the beach and he saw two sets of footprints. And then somewhere along the way, he only saw one set of footprints. And then he saw two again and he asked Jesus about it. And Jesus said, those were the moments that I carried you across the sand because I knew that you needed me. God's only going to give you as much as you're able to handle. He's never going to put you through what you can't handle. So if you're going through a tough time in your life, I feel like you're the individual who identifies and realizes that if God is putting you through this kind of tough pace, that he knew that you would be strong enough to handle it and there's got to be a reason why you're going through it. And that kind of awareness is something that you can't teach. That's something that you have to, that that's a gift that needs to be earned between you and God. When you can lay down your ego to allow the divine to take over, that's the hardest part of this journey. That's the hardest part of transitioning is allowing the trust and letting go of the control. And this is trusting the divine to take you and all of your burdens across those troubled waters so that you can come into this ace of pentacles. This divine love. You're a strong woman or a strong individual embodying that divine feminine, that high priestess, that empress energy. And you've been given gifts of mobility and flexibility and dexterity to be able to move you into the next legs um, of this journey. So all of this exercising and flipping, um, you may find it very meditative to be in a gym or to be a gymnast. Um, you know, I've been kind of silent about this, but I keep seeing Olympic gold medals. And I've actually almost referenced it in a couple of, of the past readings when I talk about people who are athletes. I really do want to call out that I feel that somebody trains for Olympics in this collective. And I don't know exactly who you are, but your energy is beautiful. You have a very um, business-like mind when it comes to the spiritual health of your body and your actual body and how it looks on the outside. So you're the kind of individual that looks at this like a business, your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit and you identify with that and you're taking care of your body. But also you're trying to bring honor to your country or honor to your community, honor to your family by being chosen and represented in something as monumental as the Olympics. And I don't know if anybody knows or not, but training for something like the Olympics, especially if you're a gymnast, oh my gosh, I mean, like you sacrifice everything for that dream. And I feel like maybe that may be part of it. And maybe you might be coming into a divine counterpart during, like, like while you're training for whatever it is you're doing. So whatever it is that God is leading you to, God's setting you on the path with divine guidance to give you a gift, okay? And that transition is going to, when you trust that path that, that the divine is asking to place you on, your gifts are going to be waiting on that path. So if you're somebody who's been on the fence of whether or not you should take this path that God is trying to place and, and your spirit team is trying to lead you to, just know that your blessings and abundance are held like little keys along this path, like little breadcrumbs or little carrots dangled come over here divine collective see this carrot this is a gift and i'm showing you the path here's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow kind of feel so when you go through this next phase of your journey you're going to come into divine love 
You're going to come into that abundance. You're going to come into those new spiritual gifts. You're going to come into your community. You're going to come into a new soul tribe that understands you, that helps you elevate. These individuals are going to be divinely placed in your life specific, specifically to get you on your path because they also realize that as they are obedient and helping out this earth angel, this star seed, this divine light worker, you are the key to their blessings as well. And this community knows it and they share that. Your success is their success and their success is your success. This is how it's always meant to work. Helping each other, not expecting anything in return because that is a selfless act, okay? Now, I know that we've been sharing a lot of information on this channel, and I want to let you know that if you don't feel comfortable sharing information on this channel because of past traumas or people taking advantage of you, I want you to know you don't have to share anything on here that you are not divinely led to share. Maybe the information that you have is not something that everybody else should know. For a specific reason, your divine path is your divine path. And I want you to, to respect your intuition. And I want you to make the choices based off of what your guides tell you to do. So you pay attention to your guides. But if you are one of those individuals who <clears throat> does not care about, like you're the kind of person that's like, it is all about the mission. Angels, Divine Collective, it's all about the mission. I don't care about the money. I just need this message to get out. I want people to heal. This is my calling. This is my passion. This is this sharing is for you. <laughs> uh, if you feel comfortable in sharing your special gifts um, to teach the rest of the collective what you know, you're more than welcome to on this channel and it will be supported. And I promise you a lot of people are watching and they are excited about what's happening here. And just because of that, let me go ahead and get some divinely led messages for my collective here, for your journey, because this is beautiful. This is a special time in your life, and I want you to really live in the moment. Do you know what I mean? Live in the moment and it, it just... Be thrilled about what's coming into your life because as soon as you energetically make this decision to move forward, privileged lady, as soon as you make that energetic decision, that is the key, the catalyst to all of those dominoes falling and all of your blessings starting to rain down out of heaven. And God has been waiting to give it to you. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love it, you guys. All right, one more shuffle of these, and then Holy Spirit, please provide me with three of the best, the very best, um, divinely led messages to help this individual along their path and their journey. Please and thank you. Oh, oh, one, and then these two flipped. Okay, thank you. Let's see what we got. Let's take this one first. May God, the source of hope, fill with all joy and peace by means of my faith in him so that my hope will continue to grow by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. This is saying, I keep God alive. This is saying in a world where God may have disappeared and people don't know him because I have faith in him. And because I know what hope is and I know who my God is by means of my faith, I am keeping the Lord alive and I will do miracles and, and speak prophecy and speak life into the death that is surrounding me. Yes, you can speak life into your environments. So if you're filled with a lot of negative people in your environment, start speaking life into them. If they're going to boldly say, well, God doesn't do this and he doesn't care about me and I want to know where this loving God is, show them. If they're bold enough to say it, be bold enough to defend it. Defend your faith. Defend your beliefs. 
If you feel strongly in something, don't let the convictions of others poison your belief system because your belief system isn't wrong. You are a unique individual. You have a very specific um, frequency to you. We are all like uncut diamonds of all different shades and colors. We all have fingerprints in our souls that identify who we are, just like our actual fingerprints and DNA strands, okay? And that signature can't be copied to anybody else. What works for me may not necessarily work for you. What works for you may not necessarily work for me. So you have to find your, your specific niche. This, um, And when you bond closer with your your spirit guides, with your angels, with your divine ancestors, they're going to help you identify where your niche is, where your, your sweet spot is in spirituality, in faith, in love. Maybe there's more healing you have to do before you can embody that, that full forgiveness kind of, of, of lifestyle. Now, I, you've, I hope you know me enough by now to know that I take no offense from anything that happens. If, if you're going to be cruel to me, I'm going to smile and I'm going to say, I forgive you for doing that to me if you forgive me for not feeding you energy to do it again. You know, I'm going to be that kind of person. And that makes a lot of individuals angry, <laughs> you know, because they, they, they want to rise out of me and they're not going to get it. You may not be there yet. Maybe this scripture is that key that's going to help you identify that the devil does not have power unless you give it to him. So stand firm in your faith and in your beliefs. Your belief in something is your powerful weapon. It's a very strong weapon. Embrace it, you know? Hold on to that. Be bold. You establish me, O oh God, and all the right and all the righteous, for you who try the hearts and the emotions and thinking powers are a righteous God. Psalm chapter 7, verse 9. Let me read that again. I stumbled through it. You establish me, O God, and all the righteous for you who try the hearts and emotions and thinking powers are a righteous God. This is saying that God, as your father, your, your parent, God the father is saying that I am testing you. I am trying you. I am tempering your emotions. I'm helping you to control your emotions. I'm teaching you how to be powerful in your mind. I'm giving you thinking powers. And because I test you and put you through these trials that I know you are going to pass and learn from, it's going to carry you into the next phase of your life with everything that you need because you had to go through this particular lesson in order to have the skill set to be equipped to handle the next level. Does this make sense, guys? I hope it does. God tests us. And you, Divine Feminine, know that. You are going to be um, tried and tested. And I feel like you are expecting it. We have that expectation card down here. You're expecting it. You know it's coming. You know it's not going to necessarily be easy. But you're going at it. Excuse me, my nose is itchy. You're going at it with the right way. You're going at it with the right attitude. Because you're, you're going into it with a mindset of, I'm excited to know what I'm going to, I, I want to know what I'm learning next. Ooh, I'm, I want to know what's happening next. I want to tap into this next power. Maybe you're stepping into mediumship. Maybe you're stepping into a new spiritual gift. And you're trying to learn how to control those emotions. And God is helping you with controlling those emotions. Helping you to balance Take, you know, listening to God whenever he says, I need you to take a time out and sit over here for a second so I can, my angels can come and help you transmute some of this energy and get control back over the situation. Otherwise, you're going to get overwhelmed and your guides are going to not be able to get through to you because you're not going to be able to hear them. There's a reason for everything. And we may not know those reasons, but being okay with not knowing everything 
is a wonderful thing to start praying for. Say, God, help me to not care about knowing what's going to happen in the future. Let me be surprised. Help me be comfortable with not knowing. So that way I can free myself of having to worry about what's happening in the future. That will be specific for somebody. Not all of you. <laughs> this will also, this why, the wise also will hear an increase in learning. And the person of understanding will acquire skill and attain to sound counsel so that he may be able to steer his course rightly. This is Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5. This is a powerful, humbling message for anybody who may be a tarot card reader, may be a spiritual leader, um, where people rely on you for information, sometimes you need to be able to have information too. You need to feel confident in the counsel that the Holy Spirit puts in your path. So maybe you are going to be watching something or um, meeting somebody in your life that is going to help you elevate you on your path. So be uh, pay attention. You may have people entering into your life now that are planting appropriate seeds for your growth. Maybe teaching you a new skill like we were talking about before. Maybe the collective healers on this channel will be able to understand their powers a little bit easier and learn how to temper it. Um, learn how to channel and control that energy that they're using um, with purpose and grow in that strength. Maybe not heal um, um, minor cuts and wounds, but being a curse breaker of cancers, Alzheimer's, you know, maybe you'll be able to help cure people of this. I mean, that's huge, you guys. So if um, this resonates with you, definitely pay attention to who's being brought into your life for counsel. Because when you need that sound information, God is going to divinely place a person in your path that you may not be expecting. Somebody of probably very humble standards who's going to be like that child in the crowd that says, the emperor's not wearing any clothes, you guys. You do realize that, right? And you're going to wake up and you're going to go, oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. And trust me, that individual who is sent into your life, you have information for them as well. It's going to be an exchange of information that is going to set you both on your path. But when you surrender to the divine and accept that they want you to share with this one person, and they're going to, you're going to know who that individual is. When you take advice from that individual, it's blessed advice and it will make you abundant and push you on your path. But if you take counsel and advice from somebody who is not <laughs> for your highest good, you're going to know that because it's going to, you know, bad stuff's going to start happening. If, if you're a healer, just use your best intuition. Okay. There's a 33, 22 on the clock there to confirm that. And you should always trust your gut instincts. <laughs> your gut is smart, okay? All right, guys, 33, 33 on the clock. We're going to go ahead and close out this reading. I want to take a moment to say thank you guys for stopping in. If you like this vibe, hit the like and subscribe button on the way out so I can pick up on your energies a little bit easier and channel more messages specifically for you. Guys, thank you so much for everything you're doing in the community. I'm so proud of all of you. Take care and God bless.